Hello, 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 he everybody. We have an Ethel. Welcome to What's Pop, Pop Couple. Who's ready? I'm tired. You're tired. <laughs> I think we're both tired. Lots of stuff going on. Yep. Um, who's ready? Nope. You. Got it. Ha 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 ha. All right. Shall we say hi to those people in chat? Yeah. We have hello, guinea pig Lori. Hello, Holly White. Hey, Anne Marie. Uh, hey, Jeremy Knapp. And hey, Mr. MPT. How are you guys all doing tonight? Hey, Tats. Got your package today. Ooh. Excellent. Hope Did you, you like it? I say, I'll feel like it. Hey, Empty. Hey, hey. Magna Koenig. Hey, Chap. Hey, Hi, Ben. Ben. So we'll give everybody a few minutes. We, I mean, we just started early. Yeah, so. we started a little early. Uh, I but, went through your Instagram tats <laughs> and was stalking things you like. So I hope you liked it. We'll see. Hey, Cope. Oh, you didn't open it yet. Okay. Well, then I'll be quiet. <laughs> hey, Ivy Poppin. Hey, William. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Jess. Hey, Mike. Hey, Lab Jar. And Jess, I haven't done box stuff today yet, so it's been a long day. Anyway. Long day. It's been just a long couple weeks, few weeks, months. You were brought up being early. <laughs> How do you say that name? I think it's Putin, Putin stereo. stereo. I don't know. Putin Stereo. I see it. Yes. I just didn't want to butcher it. Right. Hey, Kristen and Richard and Glenn and Jeep -a Pop. And weird flex, yo yo yo. And Daniel, Daniel. how's it going? Hello. Hey, You're not late. Larry. I know, Larry. Right? <laughs> what is going? You're even early. It's right? supposed to start at six, and it's already. It's only five fifty nine. So, hey, Jerry G. So, hey, Nita. <laughs> we have. Hey, Dave. Uh, some Wizarding World boxes to open because mm -hmm. nobody watches subscription videos. So you all get stuck <laughs> watching it here. Um, we do have a horror Kahoot for a little bit later. We have a comment picker for those of you who commented in the appropriate location. Um, pout in stereo. Uh, but also Marcy. <laughs> well, hi, Marcy. <laughs> oh, yeah, there is no E there. Yeah. Are you from Canada? Okay. <laughs> but uh, yes, yeah, so we got all that. And then, of course, we've got our collectible news. So yeah. we'll go over some of the stuff coming out. Hey, Nightshade. Hey, Sean. Just finished watching your video. <laughs> it was like a pop couple video. Right? Yeah. Um, so we'll go over some of the NYCC announcements. Uh, we've got other stuff that's dropped, sold out, whatever. New stuff uh, that's coming. Coming. Diggles! All that stuff. Um, the what? I have no idea. There was a new Harry Potter game. Oh, I will have to research that later. <laughs> I want the Mario three pack. The Mario three the three pack. games and the one thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, that goes on sale on Friday. Oh. All right. No, I think we can actually play on Friday. Oh. I think it's already for sale. Ah, they are from they're American, but in Australia. Oh. So, you pre ordered Mario? We'll probably, I'm thinking we'll do the digital one. Yeah, I think so. Tickles! Hey, uh, Tasha. <laughs> and, we uh, have and he is starting. So, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, hey, hey, pops with purpose. purpose. All right, let me, what am I doing with you? <laughs> the look so on we his get face? the head cock like I don't know Move what over. are you doing with me? Move over you. <laughs> so Haggy, what are we doing with you? While he's feeling better, he's still a butthead. Yeah, he is <laughs> definitely a butthead. <sighs> he had his first chemo treatment this morning. Yep. So dropped him off and picked him up and he seems okay, annoying as, as he normally is, so. Yeah. <laughs> so 
So yes, the dogs want to be on YouTube too. I've got Lucy, Lucy on my left, Ethel on my right, and Peggy behind me. So it's <laughs> hey, Stephen. So what's the what? Oh. Eighteen hundred flowers and your actions different outcome. Ah, Hogwarts Legacy for PS5. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes, Haggy has lymphoma. Yes. So, hey. So, but he started chemo today. So, he has the lesser of the two severities of cancer. Yes. Like B, tel B cell versus T cell. He has B cell, which is the lesser of the evils. So we went with attack the attack it with chemo, and they said he should last at least another year. So we hope so. We hope for six to eight thousand dollars. We hope. <laughs> right. So, um, but hey, Karen. All right. So what do we want to start with? Shall we? We do an. Wizarding World boxes. <laughs> I will get him a stick in a second. We could either do that or we could start with some collectible news. You want to start with that and I'll get them a snack? We could do that. Since they've already had a snack, this should be <laughs> a big D. We need another one. All right. Well, let me share the screen then. So, in collectible news, as we all know, Funko has been announcing the NYCC. Funko Pops. Um, I believe we're relatively up to date here uh, at Cardboard Connection. So, of course, one of the first ones here is Captain Crook, uh, well known from McDonald's for stealing the filet of fish sandwich. I don't know why he'd steal that, but hey. So, I know uh, all the ad icons people will be definitely looking forward to this one. Um. Yeah, not uh, not collecting the McDonald's ones or anything. No. We'll be avoiding that one. But hey, if you like it, there you go. There is also Dum Dum's Drum Man. Pass. Not an, another one, not for us. Again, add icons. Yes, Dave. Yes. Hey, Sin. Danny Phantom. This one, I'm not quite sure why it doesn't glow. I'm sure there'll be a variant in the future that will glow. Now, again, another one that's not necessarily for us, but we do know that there's a lot of people who enjoyed Danny, Danny Phantom. I even asked James, I was like, who the hell is Danny Phantom? <laughs> Never heard of him. So, Right, Ken? Hey, yeah. Mr. Hawaiian Pop. There is also the Breast Cancer Awareness Joker. Pass. So instead of a purple suit, or yeah, instead of a purple suit, you get a pink suit. Ooh. Next, we've got the DC Heroes Batman uh, Nightwing. Pass. Again, we're not big DC fans. So mm -hmm. what's nice so far is there's nothing that we want. There's yes. still stuff we want. Oh, there, <laughs> there <it> is. <laughs> hey, Justin. Next up, we've got Snake Plissken. Yet escape another. from New York. Yet another I asked, who is that? <laughs> I was like, it's Snake hey, Plissken. Logan. <laughs> I had no idea who that was, being perfectly honest. Then we've got Fortnite. For all you Fortnite fans. Pass. Hey, Smitty. <laughs> Danny Phantom, he was just 14. I have no idea. Now we get into where uh, there's yes. some, some that we want. You gotta and, have Molly in the burrows. Right? So that's the first one. <laughs> <laughs> My guess is size-wise, this one is like probably up. about like the up. Yeah. Yeah. Up house. So the burrow will be about the height of the house with balloons. And right, Dave. And Molly is a regular size pop. Hi, Iconicod. Yes, for Ron. I actually just recently bought the mini of Ron in that exact same outfit. So oh, yeah. Huh. I forgot about that. We haven't done that video. He's somewhere <laughs> in a box, whoops, along the wall that never gets empty. So, you know. Huge. We may just have to make like a two hour no, video. No, I don't want to make a two hour boxes. video because all it'll be is <laughs> like Hagrid the whole time. 
It's just annoying. Maybe Hagrid could be on with us. He's still going to bark. But that's his commentary. So he's there. We open a box. He's like, Ooh. He's like, that's crap. Roof. <laughs> yes, we get more two pigeons. more pigeons at least. So we have this pigeon who has an orange mask, a blue shirt, shirt and an orange belt or whatever. Then we get the rat eating pizza with a blue hat. Yeah, I don't know. I was like, is it supposed to be Chuck E. Cheese? Nope, it's not. If Just it was Chuck E. Cheese, pizza. that'd be better, but it's not. And then we get our limited versions Ooh. where we have the same rat with a different colored hat. And we have the pigeon with a different with colored shirt. Inverted colors. Hey, Ness. So there you go. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Crap. There will also be a shirt and a two-pack of pins. Pass. All of that. Don't want any of it. <laughs> Next up, we've got the This Is Fine Dog. I didn't think that was a, a, a whatchamacallit. I thought that was, yeah, not part, not part of, of NYCC. The, uh, it was just a recently released virtual, pop. Not part of the NYCC virtual con. Right, no. So, yeah. I didn't. It just got lumped in. Yeah. Hey, Auntie Adi. Hey, Nicole, Iconic God. Stitch as Baker. Yes. Alexandra, Alexandra, where are you? If he costs a dollar, Alexandra will No, be Alexandra will bust. <laughs> she almost busted out seven bucks the other night on an auction. Ooh. So the world was coming to an end quickly. And originally for NYCC, but now is not. Interesting. Then Zombie. Have... I thought it was for a second that said Deadpool. That's why I was like, yeah, no, I can read now. It's... <laughs> Uh, yeah, continuing on with the zombie line, we've got the zombie daredevil. We're not doing zombies. We're not doing the Marvel zombies. Negative. Red Goblin. I don't know who that is. James was trying to explain it to me. It kind of looks like... Uh, what's the guy? Scaramouche. Scaramouche without like the bigger horns. Samurai Jack guy. Oh... Aku? Yeah, that guy. <laughs> I didn't watch that show either. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Aku. <laughs> oh no, Alexandra. Refresh. <laughs> Ours isn't buffering. No. <laughs> Not that helps. Uh, then we've got Venomized Magneto. I do like this one. I have been collecting the Venomized line, so I will be attempting to grab this one. Hey, Rilio. I do like what they did with this street art. Yeah. Miles Morales. We will grab it up. Exactly, Ken. <laughs> um, at least for a little bit. Hey, uh, Matthew. Like I said, I, I do like what they did with this. I think this is probably, in my opinion, one of the better art series ones. I have a feeling that it's going to be like the Marvel Deluxe that just have been releasing on Amazon where they fit together in some kind of staged circle or blob. I'm guessing because I read that there are seven of these coming out, different characters. So I could be wrong, but my thought is they're probably trying to do another scene. That could be so. like a, basically like a whole wall. Yeah. Then we've got Jiminy Cricket with his umbrella. What yes, it looks at? like Jim Lee sized cope. You're right. Uh, it is a deluxe, so it yeah, should it be is Jim deluxe. Lee sized. So, yeah, on Jiminy. Then we've got two flocked Pokemon. Steven, you don't want to know. <laughs> don't want to know. <laughs> um, Pass on Pokey. We're not doing any Pokemon. Yeah, we've got angry pooping Pikachu. Yes, and Growlithe. And Gro Growlithe, Growlithe. <laughs> then we've got two more Nickelodeon cartoon pops. We've got Mermaid Man and his faithful sidekick, Barnacle Boy. With one nut hanging from his face. Yes. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Let's be real, people. <laughs> We also have the 50th child pop. Don't this need time, another 50, child. Uh, this time child with pendant. No, nope, no, nope, pass. Then there will be a bundle of the Luke and Leia Jedi training. No. I will be skipping them. <laughs> That's lame. Then they have stage three of Recyclops. 
didn't need the first two either. Yeah, looks like I, Ninja Cyclops or something. I know that there are some people who love The Office. Not for us. They have gone stupid crazy with The Office. Yeah. They haven't so. announced the anime yet, so you know it's still coming. Oh, yeah. So. Then, of course, the six-inch Fezzik, Andre the Giant. Uh, if you are collecting Princess Bride, this would be a must. We are not. No. I love Andre the Giant. Not you have one his that pop. I need. I do have I have the regular size Andre the Giant Pop. Yes, you do. We passed on the six inch. Then we've got Comic Book Guy. No, we don't collect Simpsons. For Simpsons fans, then also Wolfman, Wolfman Bart. Bart. Yeah. <coughs> uh, young Ben Bloody, which is a 2000 piece. Which people are going to go nuts over. Yes. Not us, but in general, people are going to go nuts over. Yes, on the up. Carl and Ellie as not kids, but not super old. It's when they're, it's in the first like two minutes of the movie. I know. When they're like running through their after, life and fast forward. After they bought the house. Yep. And Paint the mailbox. Painting and the blah, mailbox. Blah, blah, and putting yeah. their hands on it. I know. Don't want we it. have a Wonder Woman that glows in the dark that looks like the glow is very underwhelming. Yeah, I would guess. It looks like Thor's whoopity woos. I think the only thing that glows is the lasso. Well, that's lame. Which is a complete waste of, a glow. of glow. Because you could at least have the lightning glow. Dave's like, sodas! These oh, are, sh sorry, I was going to say something bad. These are bad sodas, though. These aren't even good sodas. Of course, I could be wrong. Maybe the lightning will glow too, and this is just a terrible picture of the glow because it's kind of a terrible picture of glow. And then we've got sodas. Nobody wants those. Uh, we've got two more of the super <laughs> amazing Scott Pilgrim sodas. It's a Chase variant. It is. There's yeah. 3,000 pieces. It is Envy Adams, and the cherry Chase has a silver jacket and black shoes black stripper shoes and that'll be from toy tokyo you want it it's low numbered yeah but do you what like scott pilgrim like those ramona flowers knife chows you i couldn't even get rid of those sodas i bought them we bought them for a friend thinking he wanted them because he said oh buy me all the sodas and so we bought them all and then the friend was like oh no i just wanted the what were the ad icon ones? Right. So we got stuck with knives and Ramona and whoever else. And I was like, and what are we going to do with these now? Thank God they sold on the whatnot yeah. auction. Cause yeah. Yeah. It, and so that, yeah, that's no, no slight against anybody who loves the movie. Cause I know that there are a lot, of, a lot of people who do. We're not in that group of people. No. So that's not our little niche. No. Niche. Niche, niche, whatever. You it's know. Toy Tokyo, supposedly, yeah. I know, usually it is a Funko Shop. We're not unmodding Justin. Did you already finish? So that uh, looks to be, at least for now, I know there have been a couple other uh, announcements so far. Uh, was it... Uh, Dixie and Pixie, the two uh, Hanna Barbera mice. Here. You're fine. She's just being a dick. Fine. But that's about it. Did you finish already? Uh, other things, there were a couple of drops for text. You want Borat pop? Lucy! Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, so there were a couple of tech drops this week. There you go. Uh, I think they're cool. I wasn't Holy about God. to that is expensive. buy these. That was for two. That's expensive. They're mega techs. That, that's expensive. I don't care. <laughs> wow. So, 
I didn't go for no. release. I, I, yeah, no. However, we an will be buying amazing new announcement uh, dropping on Friday. Series two of the Chapu Chapus. Yep. There is a rare and an ultra rare, which is not going to be fun to find because last series one, we didn't like the rare and ultra rare. Right. They which were was just, good. Which we didn't care if we got it or not. But this time I do like the rare and ultra rare. So. So this mm. should be the entire series. The rare is this uh, fire shark, which is glow in the dark. The super rare is the turkey one. Yep. Those Give me them chompers. Not know. be fun to find. We'll buy more at Fugitive. We will. So I do like several of the other ones though too. I think this like, like wooden tiki one. one looks awesome. And the one with the floaty. The the one with the uh, the water wings and the inner tube is cool. Yep. Caveman. You've got terry cloth robe with towel. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming this is like a Cthulhu. That's the glow one too. I thought, oh, this right? one glows. I thought Maybe. it was this one. Oh, the fire. Oh, I think you're right. Glow fire shark. And Smitty asked, "Are you going to watch the Stormy Vault show on Saturday?" I don't know yet. Maybe. 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 So they're cute. We're going to try for them. I'm hoping they're pair adorable drop but I don't know if there are you do not get all 12 because there's rare and ultra rare um it was the same last year so last year when they did their first series you open your case and you may get one like the silver or the last year it was silver and gold mm -hmm. um were the rare and ultra rare so I don't think they'll be handing out the rares and the ultra rares in every case, unfortunately. So, oh, nope. yeah. Definitely looking forward to that. Uh, there's also some Toki Doki stuff. Go pull them up real quick. So they have Toki Doki has stuff dropping tonight. Um, Start here. I did not, Smitty. Yeah, so they're doing baseball team themed ones. So I don't know how many teams or if it's all, if it's just some, but yeah, seven o'clock tonight, they drop. And then they're starting their Halloween stuff this evening. So that's their new line. So it looks like we've got Samara from the ring. Right, for sure. I like the one to the right of it. To the, this one? That one. Out of all of them, I kind of just like that one. I think the one in the back right is flocked. This one? It looks flocked. I believe it is. So you're getting the baseball and the Halloween. Nice. Nice. I just, I don't know. I don't feel like I need all those. But we'll see. We'll see. So, yes, yes. so many toys. What else? Then we got Big, Big Pin. Pin. They just dropped a whole bunch of My yeah. Heroes. As you can see right here. Yep. <laughs> and some of them are on spastic. Some were exclusive to just fig pin. So and there was an FYE. Yeah. And there might have been another one. I don't There's remember. Somewhere else. I think Walgreens got some. Oh, too. yeah. Walgreens had one. <laughs> are they blind box ones, Cope? I thought you chose the team. The sharks are called Champu Champu. Yes. By, and it's made by Bim Toy. B I M T O Y. Yes, F Y E Mount Lady. It's an XL. That was the one I was telling you about. But I was yeah, like, oh, they have the yeah. XL one coming out. They're not out. Gotcha. So, a couple, like 30, no, 40 ish minutes, then they'll be out. You like Hikari, Dave? The Hikaris are cool. They're okay. I. Go buy them on Gemini, if you didn't know. Yes. They're dirt cheap on Gemini. You can get ones that are worth supposedly 40 or 50 bucks for 20 to 30. Yeah. They have all the Hikaris you could ever want. So, if anyone's looking for Hikari, go to Gemini. So. So, I believe these are... That's... Those are XLs. XLs. Yeah. So, you've got the... Um, 
All Might from Two Heroes and an XO Mount Lady. You've got Mei Hatsume, a regular sized Target. All Might Young Age. Oh, yeah, from Target. Yay. That should be fun to get. The last Target exclusive fig pin didn't even have a Target sticker. Right. Uh, a few more Nate. commons. We just we, ordered that. Covery Girl was a fig pin exclusive. That came out yesterday. Uh, pre orders. Cami. Yes. Yeah, we did pre order these. And there will be a common regular sized mm. fig pin um, of Mount Lady. And That's another the common. One Smitty just sent. Oh, I did That's see cute. that. Oh, you saw it? Yeah. I haven't seen it. It's cute. So, yeah. Anybody who's looking for more My Hero fig pins, there you go. A whole lot more coming. Yes. Just for you. This is all for you. Super Plastic also has another yes. super janky. Yay! Eight inch. No, we're not buying it. <laughs> so if you have the, if you're on the mailing list, you already got a link to this. It's the early purchase right now. Yeah. Tomorrow it will drop officially right. on the Super Plastic site. Yep. So if you like this one and you're looking for it, there you go. I don't know, Cope. We emailed Logan, like but we two, haven't heard back. Well, no, he wrote well, back. So, so we, we emailed him two, two or three weeks ago asking to do the, not this weekend, but next weekend when James doesn't have his kids. And his initial response was, okay, well, email me the week before, because I'm not booking that far yet, is what he told us. So we emailed, yes, Mon sometime earlier this week, and he wrote back, and he's like, which we heard on Curtis's live last night, is that they're taking a break from the 25th to the 5th or something, So, which is the weekend we wanted to do. So he said anything they're doing from the 25th to the 5th is already booked. So he forwarded the email to to Curtis, <laughs> if you're in here, <laughs> and said to schedule us after the 5th of October. So probably not for a while then. I yeah, don't know. A couple weeks. They're busy. It is what it is. So, but yeah, <laughs> our whatnot purchases that we have done have been slowly rolling in. Indeed. I got the one from Dave in the mail. I got one from Beard of Pop. In the mail today. And I ordered something from YoJ and then MPT. So, can you? I think the cord is coming out. I can't do much better right now. You want me to do it? Beep, beep, beep. All right. Plugs coming out. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I bought the most amazing card ever. Hey, hey, hey. That will be part Half of your job. Gotcha. Hmm. Nice. So, so we know who to talk to. <laughs> well, I don't know. So he, yeah, so he forwarded it to, he said forwarded it to Curtis and we'll hear after the fifth. It's, yep. It is what it is. They are not Zubas. <laughs> yes. Miguel Matt William. Um, they are just PJ pants because I am comfy at home. Ed won't send us any Zubas. <laughs> I asked Ed to send me some Zubas. He said he wouldn't. Come here. He, he needs his pants for another couple years. So. Oh, none of your minis yet. Wow. And you ordered a crap ton, Magna Koenig. So. Crap ton. Oh, very nice, Cope. <laughs> Did you do Series 2 or Series 3? The answer is yes. Probably both. <laughs> I think that covers collectible uh, yeah. news, so we can move on to whatever else. Because I know you've got some stuff. four subscription boxes here to open up. Because they just keep showing up. Like, yeah. Not a lot of the stuff I'll end up keeping. But it's the Harry Potter Wizarding World subscription box. Mmm. I don't know, Daniel. That's so it. Nick was saying that that uh, 
the Disneyland house, not house, the castle. Walt. That was coming out. Please hold. Well, do we have official dates? No. Well, he thought it was Friday, September 25th. Walt with castle release park exclusive. So others, I mean, you guys know Pluto came out. Well, not Pluto. Goofy came out today at Hollywood, right? Uh, Chef Goofy. I yeah, Chef so. Goofy. Yeah. Oh yeah, there was a huge line according to IG. And then uh, Mothman came out at HQ. The Everett store. So I don't know if anyone tracked those guys down. Uh, did we get the package? Not yet. Sent? I don't think so. Not yet, Magnaconic. I went today. You did. And picked up four boxes, but none of them were from you. There was a box from... Justin, Jay, Beard of Pop from Whatnot, and then there was one more. But it wasn't from you. I don't remember. So, first thing in this lovely thing is a Ravenclaw bag? Is that what that is? Oh. No, that's Gryffindor, but why is there an R? Oh, it's a spell thing. <laughs> Sorry, it's a bag. You miss the Funko drops. They'll do more. And then there's a bag in a bag. So it's a little bag. Bag in a bag. Right. Cope. It's not Ravenclaw. Sorry, Cope. I was wrong. It's Gryffindor. We do have, or we will have, a Mothman coming. Yes. Um. What is this? We contacted somebody we know up in the area. They were able to. Pure procure one for them and for us. Here's a Hogwarts house tin candle. I don't use candles. <laughs> hey, DJ Patrick. So these are cute. Uh, tape? I think it's tape. I'm trying to read the thing. Yeah. Tape set. Those are actually really cute. Those will get used. They will definitely get used. A uh, house ghost keychain. Oh. Does it glow? That, uh, if it doesn't, then they did it wrong. It probably doesn't. Right, it's not even listed. I don't know. <laughs> A frame. Oh. Uh, yeah. Lab jar. Yes, we have heard from Brian and Brittany. They are fine. The house in general is okay, but a whole lot of cleanup, no power. They are hoping slash should have power back by the weekend for yes. like their oxygen <laughs> stuff. But they are okay. Yeah. Uh, Patronus frame. So picture frame. And hello, Andrew. What else? Need We need the blue-green Bigfoot. We do. That is the only one yes. we're missing. Unicorn pin. <laughs> this one's from January, by the way. So unicorn pin. And then it looks like a... <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know what to do with him. Haggard. Nobody needs to hear you all the time. <laughs> he disagrees. And this might be a wand, an eraser wand. Yeah, it's an eraser. <laughs> That's kind of lame. This won't get used. It's even floppy. <laughs> like it's not even a good wand. It's a floppy wand. It's an eraser wand. Nobody likes floppy wands. <laughs> it wiggles. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody likes floppy ones. No. And nobody likes barking bloodhounds either. No. No. All right. So that was January's box. <laughs> it might be, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> floppy ones. All right. The next box came March, but it just came. These boxes are so delayed. Got a purple shirt. I don't wear purple, so we'll see if this ever gets wear worn. Weird. Worn. We'll it's see if it Weasleys. gets weird. It's the Weasleys from their joke shop. Those are ugly. Like, that's just ugly. But. <laughs> the one. Right? That, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea if kids really use pencils anymore. Probably not. 
Is this a fanny pack? I hope so. <laughs> it's is. a fanny pack. Lisa's got a Who fanny pack. Who needs a fanny pack? I don't even know what that is. It's a Niffler. Oh, there it is. I was like trying to figure out what in the heck. There's the Niffler. Now the Niffler. I see it. And see, the zipper is a gold coin uh, for the Niffler. Send the fanny pack to Ed. It's a definite possibility. Plenty of room for all your fanny pack needs. Come on, what <laughs> loot crate. Could also be a football warmer, according to chat. Oh, <laughs> very nice. Pretty sure people that have fupa it stays warm down there. So, um, this is a coin pouch. Damn, it should have been a notebook. So it's the, the monster book. You know that goes nom 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 nom. Yeah, it's supposed to be a coin purse. Which I'll what the hell? Who, That's a weird. Who makes a coin purse that opens all the way so they can just right? fall out? Awful. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Epic fail. Like these people, I don't. And the ribbon is stuck now. Way to go. No, well, it's gonna be stuck. I'm not gonna use that anymore. <laughs> she just freaking stole his snack. <laughs> it's a bottle of glitter. Yay. It says Cornish Pixie Confetti. So it's a bunch of Cornish Pixies. And stars. Alexandra. It's Cornish oh. Pixies. Grump, it's Cornish Pixies. All right, what other garbage is in here? <laughs> <laughs> some of this stuff is. We stopped subscribing, right? Yeah, these are ones that they still owed us. Yes. <laughs> That's why we didn't make a video of these. It's a oh, that's kind of cute. It's a Dobby free this free the elf bookmark. It's oh. a sock. Baby Dobby's sock. a free elf. That's cute. I won't use it, but it's cute. Master has given Dobby a sock. Dobby is free. You like to rub glitter on yourself. Tape your coins inside, right? A little bit, <laughs> lap jar. Niffler pin. They used they used to have amazing pins that came in these boxes. Like we have a wall of them, of a section of them, but it just got lazy. I feel like they could have done so much better. Anyway, yeah. and your ears all ring like mine do. All right, that was that wonderful box. It's okay, they just constantly set off my tinnitus. Yeah. I don't actually need to hear anything but ringing. Nope. <laughs> you want out? You want to put that one out? Sure. All right. What are you calling dibs on Cope? That Dave is a stripper? <laughs> All right. Next has a shirt again. It's the Tri Wizard shirt. It's okay. At least it's not purple. That's a maybe wear around the house. So, all right, t shirt. You bet Dave would make a good stripper. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and then there's a towel in case anyone needs a towel to shower off or dry off with after your shower. And it's the mermaid. Mermaid window. There you go. You, you go hang out there with your uh, golden egg. Is that enough of a view, chap, or you need more? <laughs> give, give them one more second. Oh, okay. That should be good. Okay, cool. Hey, Candyman Rip. I agree. That's why we stopped subscribing to him, Sean, and we don't make videos about him. <laughs> uh, I'm not. Pendants. Pendants. From Derms, it's from all the houses that participated. A golden egg bag. Cinch bag. You would take it if it was purple? <laughs> I like to look at purple. I just don't like to wear purple. 
Lulu. Let's see. Sorry. I'm trying to. You want the towel? How big are the boxes? Normal size, like a shoe, like a Adidas shoe box, maybe. Not a Nike shoe box, an Adidas shoe box. Yeah, well, we just bought Adidas. That's why I thought of that. <laughs> so it's a bag, one of the drawstring bags. And yeah. And then the Potter Stinks, the Port Cedric, the Real Champion buttons. And I don't think there was a pin with this one. Nope, those were the pins. So yeah, no pins. Looks like a giant <laughs> scrub. Is that something you want to wear on your back, Stephen? Because I can, I can make that happen. I can send it your way. I don't know that Stephen will wear it on his back so much as on his chin. Oh, nice, nice, nice. All right, we have one more box of amazingness. I apologize for any of you that this is buffering. I I don't know. I don't know. It's not buffering over here. All right. This one we just got in the mail yesterday or the day before. First thing is an apron. Should have been, been a shirt. shirt. Like, it would have been a very cute shirt, not a very cute apron. So, Magical Creatures is the theme of this one. I would have worn this as a shirt. Congratulations, Magicoin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is lame. So it's supposed to be the pumpkin, like with Buckbeak, but they're like, oh, look, it's a stuffed pumpkin. Oh, there's Buckbeak. That's just lazy. So stuffed pumpkin, I'll probably let the dogs tear that up at some point. The pin is lazy. It's Hagrid's hut with the pumpkins. Um, there is a cute thing in here though. There's a notepad, it's magnetic, and it's Hagrid's, uh, or the birthday cake to Harry made by Hagrid. Mm -hmm. That I will use. That's cute. So, I will use that. And then the last thing, I think is a candle again, which we don't burn candles in our house. Because they make me, uh, congested and sick. So... It's a little lantern. Don't fall if I just hold it like that. It shouldn't. And it's Hagrid's little hut. And it says, what's coming will come and we'll meet it when it does. So it has a little tea light inside. So you got to say what the, what the accent. I don't have a Hagrid accent. Okay. Sorry. But you're a lizard, Harry. I know. You feel like I waxed my dome? No. No. Not at all. In fact, I need to shave my head again. <laughs> so that was the amazingness that comes in the Wizarding World subscription boxes for all of you that are now running out to buy them. They used to be a lot better. They used to have really cute stuff. It all just kind of went downhill. So that's why we stopped ordering them. Yeah. And because they couldn't send anything. Like, I've gotten those last four boxes, even though they were supposed to be every two months. Three months? Two yeah, months. Yeah, they've all been arrived in, like in the, the last, last month. Yeah. Because they're so behind. So, yeah. Harry Potter stuff. I sell a lot of that junk on Mercari. Not going to lie. <laughs> Just sell it. So, dibs on all things creatures. Hmm. I'll look through it. You can use a battery. I could... Yeah, I just, whenever candles are burning, like, I get super congested. I start coughing, so I just don't burn real candles in yeah. our house. So. All right. It's already 640, so it we is. should probably do the Kahoot Ooh. for all the horror fans that uh, are waiting for their horror chosen Kahoot. Yeah. Who's ready so. for a Kahoot? And you can thank uh, Stephen Carey. 
for picking horror. Yes. But then you can thank all of you for actually selecting it amongst the three choices. The choices were horror, MHA, and Motu. Yes. Overwhelmingly, it was horror. Yes, that is true statement, Sean. That is lovely, Dave. <laughs> Oh, Dave, what are we going to do with you? <laughs> so I did take this earlier. I had nothing to do with putting it together. No. He got 15 out of 16. And the only reason I missed one is I didn't read the full question before I answered. So. Yeah. So. Um, so winner of the Kahoot will have a choice of prizes. Prize number one would be, I think it's size medium. Is it I think it's I size know. medium, a uh, scary Terry pop and tea bundle, which is still sealed. Or prize two option would be uh, three. You get to pick three of the uh, tiny ghost mystery minis that I have. This is so annoying. Sorry. There you go. Now it's muted. But yeah, so the person who wins picks between those two what they like. So, and I have a pile of mystery or mystery tiny ghost or not mystery they're open i have a pile of tiny ghosts that are open from series three so you should play anyway dave it's okay sometimes it doesn't matter that's right sometimes maybe you're just really good at guessing facts. yeah a b a b c d d d a i don't know <laughs> all right anybody who is ready to go for horror. There you go. There is the pin. Again, as usual, we will ask that you use names similar to your YouTube names. Or screenshot if it. If not, please take a screenshot so that if we need to ask for proof of life. No. <laughs> um, if we need to ask for proof, we can just verify that yeah. it is you. And uh, there we yeah. go. And if you put anything dirty and naughty, it'll change it. Yes. We tried to play with that earlier. <laughs> There might be something similar to that, Justin. <laughs> I have one about a shirt. Yes. Uh, this is true. And so it is 644. How about 647? We will start. So three minutes. All right. Sounds good. So. Uh, again, going over exactly all of the general kahoot stuff we have no control over the lag potential lag whatever happens to internet connections anything like that uh, oh my god i will leave it unlocked so that anybody who wants to join later on right. in the game still can the first question is, is for zero points and should be a gimme should be after that all questions are worth points yes Answer correctly, answer fast. <laughs> there might be one similar to that, Andrew. <laughs> answer correctly, answer fast for the most amount of points. Last question is, of course, a double the points. <laughs> and yeah. Exactly. Justin, see, you know, you can make the cahoot <laughs> for us. <laughs> see this foot? What color is that? Yeah, right. <laughs> See, that could easily be done with the pigeons. See this mask? Now what color is the shirt? Right. <laughs> like. <laughs> that is not incorrect. No, it is not. So. What hand is this? <laughs> it's my strong hand. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> what was the one where I messed up the wording and it was like, name this pop? <laughs> and you're like, you could name it anything. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> or name this scar. <laughs> yeah. I will call it James. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> and NYCC reveals good. Food. We probably could. Yeah. <laughs> We've been letting the winner give us the choices. Yes. So if the winner wants to make that an option, for show. Sure. We can do it. We'll just use glams. Indeed. And by the way, there are people already posting pre-orders for NYCC stuff on eBay. Do not go pay the money. No, don't. David or Dave joined to complain. That's good. Which is fine. That's fine. 
We like complainers. Exactly. We complain all the time. <laughs> At least I do. Are you comfy down there, buddy? He appears to be. He's like, I'm not complaining. Exactly. Thank you, Glenn. Thank you, Glenn. We appreciate it. It is 6.47. Oh. It is time to get started. And Johnny G just jumped in. Again, I will not lock this, so if any of you want to try and join after we get this started, you can still join. It probably may not actually affect your ability <laughs> to win or not win. We'll just see. Saying. We'll see. We'll see. Here we go. Horror Kahoot. I will read the question. Lisa will read the possible responses. Yes. Who picked the theme options for tonight's Kahoot? Red Pop Couple, Blue Stephen Carey, Yellow Lady Enigma, or Green Stephen Carey and Brian. Hmm. Who picked the theme? Yeah. Options. I know. <laughs> really, Stephen? <laughs> Remember, so, this one is the gimme, so it's yeah. worth no points. And if it makes anybody feel any oh better. Oh my gosh, are you people is, serious? This is the one that <laughs> I got wrong as well because I didn't read the whole thing, which was I just read who picked the theme. I'm like, oh yeah, Stephen Carey. Oh, wow. all the options. <laughs> Stephen and Brian picked yes. all the options. So Stephen said, how about horror and Masters of the Universe? And, let and I'll let pick Brian one. pick one. Yes. And Brian threw in MHA. <laughs> And Steven even got it wrong. So it doesn't really matter. Let's see. <laughs> doesn't matter. But Johnny and Ness are the two who potentially got it correct. So <laughs> you had to have watched last week, Dave. Yes. Oh, all right. Next. That's why this one is worth no points. No points. No points. There are 15 questions. So. So 15 questions of terror. Yes. And horror. And anger. And yes. anguish. There we go. First question. Four points. How many box variants exist for this pop? Red, just the one. Blue, one common plus one exclusive. Yellow, two commons. Or green, two exclusives. Ooh. And one panting Lulu. Mm. Now this is Lisa's favorite that is, horror ooh. pop. Yeah. You don't remember yesterday. <laughs> well, Dave, I don't know. All right. Th my gosh. Three of you got this correct. And there are two common variants. So there's ghost space as one word. And ghost, ghost space as two, two words. words. And it's because of the license that Funko had or lost. How they had to reprint the boxes with a space between them. Larry knew. There we go. All right. We got hashtag wall of horror. Johnny G and Ness. Uh, there's a three pack of uh, minis, minis that have him, but not of uh, not a four pack that I'm aware of. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. How many syringes are on Freddie's right hand? Red five, blue three, yellow four, or green, no syringes. <laughs> Andrew. You are correct, Dave, but there are two different box variants, which was the question. One with a space, one without a space. Eighteen of you got this correct. There are four syringes on each of his hands. Actually, show, show me the picture of the hands. I can't. That would be cheating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wall of horror. Ness and Marie cope and John Michael. <laughs> and apparently, <laughs> Steven sucks for picking this. He didn't pick it. No, he provided it as an option. People voted. People voted for it. So. I think you answered correctly in box list. Smitty. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next question. Pop couple history. How many chases of this pop have we had in our collection at one time? Red one, blue two, yellow three, green four. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. This had to have been a video someone watched forever ago. Yes. So when we opened that box. Or maybe multiples of the box? Boxes. Nine of you got it correct. We had two, we bought two of the of the boxes that came with that pop, and both of them were chases. Indeed. So and that's when we had two in our collection. We got Cope. Justin, Wall of Horror, Ness, and Guinea Pig Lori. Dave's Dave is Lockers mad. is the highest climber at 14 spots. Oh, hey. Who is wearing this shirt? Red, Sean. Blue, Ed. Yellow, Jack Torrance. Or green, Holden. Wow, Lulu. That was her burping. <laughs> Hmm. This one should be relatively easy. I would I would think so. Yeah. Steven, you say you've lost the center when your internet keeps going. That's not necessarily true. <laughs> 13 of you got it right. It was Ed. Yes. Oh, another mix-up. We got Justin, Guinea Pig Lori, Chap, Cope, and Anne Marie. Oh, sorry, Larry. <laughs> There's always a chance to come back. Yes. Next question. What are the oh, first no. names of the Grady twins in this movie? Red, Alexi and Alexa. Blue, Lisa and Brittany. Yellow, Jennifer and Jessica. Or green, Carmila and Carmina. Mm. Oh, no, your Kahoot crashed. That's garbage. <laughs> no idea. I had to look this up. I just figured it'd be a fun question to ask. You know what their names are? Creepy. Yeah. Red is the answer. Six of you got it correct. Their real names in the, or excuse me, their names in the movie as the characters are Alexi and Alexa. Their real names, like human names, are Lisa and Louise. So. <laughs> All right. Let's see what happens. Justin is still in the lead, even though he says he crashed. Giddy Big Lori, <laughs> Chap, Big Dog Dave, and Lisa's Bukaki Party. Nice. <laughs> what brand of toy is this? Red Funko, Blue Kid Robot, Yellow Vinylmation, or Green Loyal Subjects. Mm. Um, I don't know if they ever say the name in the movie, John, but it's at least... Online, you can research it, and it'll tell you that that is their names. And I don't know if it's from the book or what. I believe it's probably from the book. <laughs> nice, Justin. <laughs> 13 of you got it correct. That Ghostbuster, or excuse me, that Stay Puff is from Loyal Subjects. Yes. Chat. <laughs> Justin, Cope, John Michael, and Guinea Pig Lori. You're still in second, Justin. <laughs> and up eight places is Alexandra's $1. Ooh. The highest climber. Why are the skeletons there? Red, because they want to party all night. Blue, because they are part of it. Yellow, because it's Halloween. Or green, because they are David S. Pumpkin's kids. Hmm. How's which one a horror question? I'm guessing. This, this one? Because there's skeletons and it's during Halloween and <laughs> that's when horror stuff is done. And it was the hundred floors of horror is the skit. Wow, look at those answers. Right. <laughs> so the answer is blue because they're part of it. So, right. if you watch the skit, that's exactly what they say. Right. Why are the skeletons there? <laughs> We're part of it. Exactly. So, <laughs> seven of you got that right. <laughs> and Chap, Mike, Justin, Justin is still in there. <laughs> Cope and John Michael. Just wait, Larry. There's there's other ones. <laughs> there's more horror coming. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got it wrong. Exactly. The skeletons are part of it. Exactly. 
Fake pop. How do you tell it's fake? Red, the R should be backwards. Blue, the border is too large. Yellow, the M is incorrect in movies. Or green, Sam's color is wrong. Hmm. <laughs> That's the first one you covered. <laughs> and sadly, this is a fake pop we own. We got duped on it on Mercari. Didn't get our money back. Nope. And still don't have the real one. So one day, one day I'll have the real one. <laughs> Lisa farted. Oh, it's possible. Uh, so the M is incorrect in movies. That is the correct answer. It shouldn't touch. It shouldn't be even with the ends of the M. Yep. Woo, another mix up. We got Coat, Chap, Dave's Lockers, Jeremy, and Mike. And hashtag Linda. Yes. You are correct. The lollipop, however, because in the picture you couldn't see the lollipop. We didn't put it. I didn't want to put two possible answers in there, so I just went with the M. But yes, the lollipop is incorrect as well. Hello, nerdsmithing. How are you doing? How many Munsters pops are there? Red, three. Blue, five. Yellow, four. Or green, six. Hmm. I see we've got a picture of Grandpa Munster. We have Grandpa there. That's the only Munster pop we own. <laughs> yes. And I believe we got that from Xavier. We did get that from Xavier in a trade. The geek. Mr. Splat Toys. Indeed. <laughs> nope, it's not seven, Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Twelve of you got this right. There are five. Oh, another mix-up. We got Dave, Rudy, John Michael, Anne-Marie, and Cope. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's see. Next question. Where is this exclusive to? Red GameStop, blue Hot Topic, yellow FYE, or green Box Lunch. Hello there. How are you doing, LJ? We are doing good. Where are you going on vacation, nerdsmithing? Where is letting you go on vacation? I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> 17 of you got this right. It is exclusive to FYE. Hey, Phoenix Poptastic. Dave is still in the lead, followed by John Michael, Anne Marie, Cope, and Ness. And Dave wasn't even going to play. Look I at this, Dave. Think that's Dave. That's not Dave? That's his lockers. Oh, I wonder who that is. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> Never mind. How many knives are on Scary Terry's fingers? Red, eight. Blue, they aren't knives, they're swords. Yellow, ten. Or green, they aren't knives, they're pencils. Outdoor. That makes sense, Nerdsmith. Yellowstone is amazing. I love Yellowstone. Didn't we go there together? We did. Yeah, with, with your family. Mm hmm Dave is not in the lead. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Phoenix Poptastic. And the answer is blue. They aren't knives. They are miniature swords. <laughs> so I had to have fun with that one. The small swords. Nobody changed. No. However, so Lisa's Bukkake party <laughs> is the highest climber up 10 spots. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Sean. <laughs> All right. What is Halloween Stitch holding? Red, a pumpkin. Blue, jack o' lantern. Yellow, scrump. Or green, candy corn. Hmm. I know you're not a big fan of candy corn. Yuck. But we know somebody who is a big fan of yes. candy corn. Mr. MPT in here. He yes. loves his candy corn. Mr. New Job. Mr. New Job. We Everyone send him a bag of candy corn. He that's, loves That's what candy we should corn. do for celebrating it's his new job. Lots of candy corn. Oh, it is not the best candy <laughs> Red, Our blue is correct. The answer is a jack-o'-lantern. No, no, no change. However, Jeepa Pop has hit an answer streak oh, of three. Watch out. Come back. Oh, all these candy corn lovers. <laughs> See, <you> bring it. <laughs> Ugh. How many full-length Saw movies are there? Red, nine. Blue, seven. Yellow, eight. Or green, ten. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Mm. I know, Larry, he does. 
Would you like to play a game? We are playing a game. Oh. Mm. <laughs> right, Sean? <laughs> I'm get taking it. Larry got it incorrect. <laughs> Yes, the answer Six is of you got eight. it right. Wow. So there are seven, like saw one through seven, and then there's jigsaw. Yes. There's also a ninth one, which is a short film, which I didn't count because I specifically said full length movies. And so. the short film was actually what the original saw film is based off of. Yep. Oh, there was a little mix up. Oh. We got Dave's Lockers, John Michael, Ness, Anne Marie, and Cope. I believe we're close to the end. Yes. And a new one coming. Ooh. Yeah. All right. And up Ben's or that up eight spaces, Ben Sweeney. Yep. <laughs> Two more questions. Which con was this five inch tiny ghost exclusive to? Red, ECCC 2019, S blue, SDCC 2019, yellow, NYCC 2019, or green, WonderCon 2020. Ooh. Thank you very much, Nerd Smithing. Thank Have a for, great vacation. Yes, and thank you for dropping in. We appreciate it. Hmm. Hmm? Oh, there's only Dodgers and Padres unicornos. Boo. That's not that great. All right, so the answer was red, ECCC 2019, and that is Ectoplasm Ghost. Chris Rock is in the new saw. Hmm. Interesting. One mix-up, we got Dave, excuse me, not Dave, Dave's Lockers, Ness, John Michael, and Marie and Cope. I'm curious who Dave's Lockers is. Can we get an all horror trivia? Next? This is all horror, right? Ish? I don't know. I think the only one that they could say isn't really horror was potentially the David S. Pumpkins. But it's it's from a skit called like hundred floors of horror or something or terror or something. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm just just. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Last question. Double the points. Double the fun. Put these in order per exclusive. Red hot topic. F Y E GameStop. Blue F Y E Amazon hot topic. Yellow F Y E hot topic Amazon. Or green, GameStop, Amazon, FYE. It's not horror. It's horror stuff. <laughs> but horror comes along with Halloween. Right? Right? Sort of? Ghosts? Horror? I don't know. This you guys got a long time. Oh, you're all... Wow. Okay. 14 of you got it right, which is very cool. Let us see. Third place, Chap. Oh, something happened. Second place <laughs> is Dave's Locker. First place, Anne Marie. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, and runners up, really? Out of nowhere, Stephen Carey? Right. How did that happen? <laughs> So I guess, sorry that this wasn't horror enough. I know, right? Next time I'll just do like, a, if we do horror again, just Annabelle Pops and Reagan Pops. and. Oh, I'll do straight horror and like the most obscure horror references <laughs> ever and you will all hate me. <laughs> That'll teach you to complain about our Halloween not quite horror. <laughs> so who was Dave's Lockers? I'm curious. Whores pops, right? <laughs> All right. So did, were we giving Anne-Marie choices? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure, unfortunately, Anne-Marie owns all of the tiny ghosts, but maybe she wants some extras. So I'm just trying to read. Uh, so Anne-Marie, I'll message you. But like I said, the two choices for this would be a medium size pop and tea of Scary Terry that's sealed or three tiny ghost minis, which are opened, <laughs> which you could pick which three if you wanted them. So, hello, Sassy Cajun. And hey, Kevin Jones. Right, Larry? Fail. Did course, you get the last one right, though? Oh, it was Steven? Was Dave's Lockers? 
Uh, Stephen was S. Carey. Yeah. Larry yeah. didn't even get the last one right. <laughs> we have a whole bunch of nightshade. We opened another box. <laughs> mm. uh, so Grumpy Skunk was Dave's lockers. Ah, there, there we, we go. go. All right. Emery, you get to also provide options for next week's Cahoots. Yes, for choices for what people want. Just let us know. You can either let yeah. us know in chat here or you can message us on IG. Yeah. Um, and then I'll send you a picture later, Emery, of all the ones I have, and you can pick three of them, whichever ones you want. So there was no hope of winning. <laughs> it wouldn't let you be Dave's nipples. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So we have one thing left to do, which would be... There we go. So Oh, Motu, Nightmare Before Christmas, and Disney. All Alrighty. right. You writing it down? Yep. So, so we don't have remember. to go back and look through chat again. <laughs> All right. Cool. I don't know if we saw Linda. Hello, Linda. Okay, so we have one more thing to do. We have a random comment picker to do. Hello, Alex Conway. Emery's pick medieval buildings of Eastern Europe. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Draw my name. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yep, I know. All right. Let's see. That I don't believe is correct. Why? I'm pretty sure there were more comments. Than it's that. because I replied to every single one of them. So it was double. Oh, you did that throughout the day? Did it today. Um, While you were in your meeting, I replied to all the comments. Gotcha. Now I don't feel as bad. Okay. <laughs> See you later, Jeep Pop. All right. So, oh, here we go. We've got the comment picker. This is for <laughs> the specific video that we asked you to comment on. Who in chat knows what the what we're looking for in the comments in order to What does to it win. have to say? And lots of you commented, so we know you know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> They're fun though, Mike. They're fun to make. We enjoy them. It's a fun thing to do. Something that we can do to interact with all of there you guys. There you go. Richard knows. There we go. We love spastic collectibles. Yes. No bananas. <laughs> all right. So 55 comments. It just has to say we love spas blah, blah, spastic collectibles in it. There you go. All right. Three, Ready? two, one. And the pop and the duo. The pop and duo. I love spastic. You love spastic. We all love spastic collectibles. We also love pops with purpose and pop couple. Thanks. That's all. all. That's all. Oh, that's all. Sorry. That's all. So pop and duo is our winner. Win a chicken dinner. Whoops. And I was writing with the stylus. <laughs> that's a little difficult to do I unless know. you're writing on something else. Not all paper. Right. We, I don't think I've seen Vince in here tonight. But that's okay. We'll message him. We will him. message them and let them know. Mm -hmm. Faux show. So there we go. Whoop. Rigged. <laughs> always. It's always rigged. So. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, what else is going on here? We'll have him. I was just seeing what else is going on. Uh, there's something about a clown post that disappeared. I don't know. Boy, thank you, Co. <laughs> thank you, Co. The Tokidoki exclusive unicorn. Nice. Nice, nice. Uh, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else? I don't know. Anything you'd like to ask us? Outside of which dog is panting, because that's Lucy. Right. And I'm tired. <laughs> oh. All right. 
sorry. Oh. Okay. Oh, they were the only two. Yeah, I saw Pop Harbor put that as well. That yeah. sucks. We don't like either of those teams. Mm -hmm. So we did Mikey or Mike, excuse me. So we went them. through all the stuff that they'd posted so far at the very beginning. So yeah, the, there were a couple that weren't on the where I was yet. Let me see if it's been updated. Let's see if we can show them. Your dad got a new cell phone. Well, the giveaway for the the comment picker was had nothing to do with like this. It was just if you watched the video earlier. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh yes, Grumpy. Canned corn, fresh corn, corn on the cob. That like how not that uh Thanksgiving corn, like the colorful ones, all of it. Cream of corn. Cream of corn. <laughs> Popcorn. <laughs> microwavable, non-microwavable. There's all kinds of corn we could send him. I don't think I've seen the new Super 7 Thundercats yet. Number one, send every corn, yes. Number one, want announced pop. I want the Harry Potters, but that's mm, kind of a given. Yes. <laughs> I would probably say mm, for ooh. me... There we go, cornbread. There's cornbread mix. You could even send him the mix. Corn, like the band, yeah. yeah. CDs, DVD, or CDs, tapes. I mean, maybe there's a tape out there. I would say I would probably go with the venomized magneto would be my number one want. Kettle corn. We have popcorn or chips. Mm -hmm. Those are delicious. Corned beef. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what? Oh no! What was in that mac and cheese I bought? Brisket. Brisket. Yeah, that was gross. <laughs> Ugh. You can do all kinds of things with corn. Right. The venom looks sick. Yeah, he does. <laughs> yes, bro. Yes. <laughs> Just put it in an envelope. Right. <laughs> or a bag. A bubble. Just toss in a bubble mailer, seal it up, send it over. <laughs> an MRE. There you go. <laughs> MREs. <laughs> that would be horrid. Put it in like a Ziploc and then ship it in. It's can no, we don't want canned. It needs to go in a bubble. <laughs> oh, corn dogs. Over. Oh, God. No corn dogs. <laughs> exactly. See? <laughs> he, wants <laughs> he wants the most of us to be like, what's in this? <laughs> As it like juices around right. and it's warm. <laughs> so gross. I'm pretty sure this is biohazardous materials. <laughs> Who pooped in the bubble mailer? <laughs> I'm going to fill a flat rate box. Oh, grump. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> uh, when do we think Punko will release the candy corn? I heard tomorrow, but I don't think that's actually it. Uh, my eye is watering now. My, yeah. My guess is going to be in the next couple weeks, but I don't know yeah. for sure. They usually do stuff way before the holiday it's related to, so. <laughs> Microwave the box, too. You imagine all the bacteria that would grow. <laughs> and knowing how fast UPS, USPS sends things, I mean, the priority two days end up like a week, so. <laughs> yes. Oh, God. Corn pops are good, though. That's a good idea, Alexandra. I like corn pops. Ugh. Buttered popcorn jelly beans. Nasty. Ugh. Like boil in a bag. Ugh. <laughs> corn nuts. <laughs> You'd like an auction? I'm confused. <laughs> oh, I think he's telling oh, Curtis. <laughs> that he wants an auction. I will send you meat in a bag in a box. Please give me an auction. <laughs> Oh, MBT, those are horrid. Oh, <laughs> God. Yeah. Well, so, yes. Justin, there might have been another reason why it took that long. Too. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but the last time Justin sent it to the wrong address, it still got us to us as well. 
So there will be no bag. Oh God, Grump. <laughs> Did they not do a popcorn promo thing at one of the first? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, everyone, nobody likes the candies you like, MPT. Those are just <laughs> horrid. Cornish hen. Uh, you could send that too, Grump. Sean's dinosaur chicken nuggets. Right. Yeah, I saw, I think Nick reposted somebody's video of the line, and it was insane. There was. It looked, I mean, it kind of reminded oof. me of a uh, opening, grand opening. Yeah. Just. Which was down into the parking lot. Right. Yeah. That, I don't know, that Goofy just wasn't really for me, so. Oh, Umpty likes him too. Oh, gosh. <laughs> we do have a Mothman secured. Uh, we were offered by someone uh, to pick us up a Chef Goofy, but we declined. It's just not a pop for us, so... And usually if people are going to go get us something, we're not going to go resell it ever. It's always just we're asking for it or we want it because we want to keep it. So obviously well, if, if they're offering it to us and we don't want it, it allows someone else to that does want it to be able to get it from them. So You guys don't know who Mothman is? What? It's a great cryptid. I've heard of Mothman even. Mothman, uh, uh, I believe, started in West Virginia. And yes, West Virginia. And the the story is, is if you see Mothman, you're gonna die. There's a whole movie of Mothman called Mothman. There's that too. So uh, it was from Funko HQ in Everett. Yes, that's where it was. Yes, Point Pleasant. It is a it myth is. pop. Yes. Let me see if I can find the picture. Yeah, one of those we. I mean, we enjoy the uh, supernatural cryptid stuff anyway, so... Oh, it's just the side of the box. The, There's ours secured in a bag. <laughs> it's a Mothman in a bag. Right? So... But yeah. Uh, ooh, what's that? What? Hold on. I'm holding on. What are we holding on for? Oh, Fugitive is selling the Unicornos also. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, what is this tr late night treat they speak of? They're just selling Tokyo Doki also. Very, very, very true, Grum. Who? Who what? Mothman? I don't know. That is true. Alexandra is a myth. We've never <laughs> seen more than her eyeballs. Well, actually, that's uh, not true. But we've never seen more than her eyeballs. In a video. <laughs> we both, we want, well, not both. He wants the the one, too. Fantastic plastic. Yes. Ask the person that is getting the Mothman if they want to trade a Goofy for a Donald? Goofy for, oh. I don't know if they have a Donald, but I can ask. Yeah, when we, we saw or heard that it was going to be a Everett exclusive, we're like, uh, who do we know that's up there? Can we ask for potential help? If you need a Goofy to trade for a Donald, assuming you can get one. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, yep. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Mothman was a guy in a ghillie suit. What's a ghillie suit? Hey, McDork. So a ghillie suit is typically, like, snipers and hunters, hunters will wear it. It mm -hmm. helps them blend into the, like, the forest. So it's like camouflage? Stuff. It's kind of like camouflage, but it has stuff that, like, hangs off of it. Like moss? Looks like weeds and moss and stuff. Mm -hmm. Is the easiest way to describe it. All right. Interesting. Not that I've ever worn a ghillie suit. 
Is that saying you've worn a ghillie suit? It's weird, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> right, Ness? We are well. How are you guys? I was going to say both, but guys, both, whatever. And yes, not to be confused with gilly weed. weed. Yes, that allows you to swim underwater for extended periods of time. Yes, it gives you gills and like conjoined hands, whatever those are. Flippery like flippers. Hands. Goofy, Goofy was, was a cat. Cow. Please discuss. Hmm. No, I think Goofy's I believe a dog. Goofy was a dog. However, he did like Clarabelle Cow. Dealing with the newer ending move? The never ending move. Oh, never. I was like, newer? What? Are, what? Are... <laughs> Hi, Foxcraft. It's because you own a lot of pops. That's your guys' problem. You have to pack all the pops. If we had to move, it would be a freaking nightmare. Yeah. Legit nightmare. Between animals and pops and collectibles, oh, I wouldn't even want to. Just fucking burn it all down and start over. Serious. No. No? No. Get the insurance. It's okay. If we burn it down. Well, I didn't say we burn it down. It just got burned down. We are not lying. No, we're not lying. <laughs> it sucks. Moving sucks. But the beauty is, is we already have a bunch of pops packed in boxes. We do have lots so of pops wouldn't and boxes. Be that difficult. In that An regard. anthropomorphic dog. We do that quite often, McDorks. <laughs> he didn't wear pants. No, dogs don't wear pants. His elevator probably did not quite go all the way to the top. Video shut off says try again later. What, Linda? I have no idea. 50% <laughs> of your collection, yeah. No, a guy who used to hang with Goofy at Disney World, if anyone knows what that means. I do not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. I mean, just lately, we look at stuff and we're like, why? Why do we have all this? Because we enjoy collecting. We do, but we don't have enough space for all of it. That is true. That's weird. I wonder why people are getting that air. I think it's YouTube in general. Because it's not over been... here. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Foxy. <laughs> Anthropomorphic. <laughs> exactly, Steven. <laughs> Hello, Jay. How you doing? We Oh, we got your box today from our win. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Has to be a YouTube issue. If they just don't like Pop Couple, it's okay. Not everybody does. It's so YouTube. It's the you and a tube. Eh? The TV's working just fine. Gotcha. Went out, came back. I forgot what it was. You sent atom bomb. So we have a common atom bomb to go with our chase yes, atom bomb. Yes, because we have how did we get the chase? Uh, Mystery box. Yes. Yo yo, yo Jay, how you doing? Exactly, just like that. So, so maybe we should ask them who wants to see a five hour nobody unboxing wants to see that of all the boxes we have. I don't us. want to see that. Nobody wants to see that. Who wants to see a five part of one hour unboxing of all the boxes behind us? Oh, it means they're the characters. Ah. Yoji's dirty auction. I bought something from Yoj's Dirty Auction. I bought a metallic mystique for buy it now, 18 bucks. Slipping it in, I know. No, no doing it. No, it's too much. No. <laughs> Just make it a live unboxing. That would be even more torture. See? <laughs> a live charity stream. <laughs> Issues are worse with the lives. Probably. Pop drunk, James. Oh. What will we be doing for charity when we open our own boxes over here, though? Do it, you won't. True story, <laughs> Andrew Webel. <laughs> Alexandra will join the live. Uh, in a black screen? 
This will be Alexandria in the live. She'll join the the live for when we show off the box from her back there. Right. Because we haven't recorded that video either. Nice, Zach. Nice. Oh, the charities for the marathon. Gotcha. Holy hell, Stephen. <laughs> Did you work out whatever with Stephen? I, I need to get a, um, I'm trying to find a good template. Can't but... you just use PayPal? Well, I was just going to send him something so that there's not oh. money going back and forth. Okay. I can, we can just do that too. No, it's... there's an invoice on PayPal is what I'm saying. Uh, then it'd be goods and services. Oh, never mind. Whatever. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Open it now. Alexander, you don't want it in a video. It's so amazing. We could still show it off. I you? mean, we could. I can grab it. It is amazing. And it goes with the horror theme from this evening. Uh, no, apparently this evening is more of a Halloween, Halloween. theme. Now! <laughs> we have an AP Custom. Yes, we do. Possibly the greatest AP Custom ever. It's a tiny ghost. Look, there's an AP Custom sticker on it. It's a three inch. Be, Trust be, me. Before we show what the custom out. is, does anybody know? Does anyone have any ideas what I would request for a custom? I hate you two piece. Let's see if we have any guesses. I know you know, <laughs> Alexandra. <laughs> When I had the idea, I was like, ooh, Alexander, can you do this? And she's like, oh, yeah. So we got Harry Potter, Sam or Scream character, Harry Potter, Hedwig, Harry Potter. Ghostface. I missed that. Dumbo. Ghostface or Sam. Ghostface. Gryffindor. So you guys have already said it. Yeah. <laughs> it's Ghostface. It's an AP custom Ghostface. That's ridiculously adorable. And it's all glittery. All of him. <laughs> I love it. We haven't done the video on it yet, but I took it out the minute we got it. So I think he's very cute. And Alexander did a very good job. Like I said, probably her greatest custom I know. ever. I know. <laughs> Because isn't this the first tiny ghost you customized? Or have you done tiny ghosts before? I, mean, I think she mainly just does pops. Right? I think usually she just does pops. Because this is just like a blank canvas. <laughs> <laughs> Ken. <laughs> so I think it's very, very cool. Yes, first tiny ghost. Okay. Alexandra, how much? I will buy one. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to get your hands on some of the, the tiny ghosts first, the three inchers. Yes. It doesn't need to be five, just three inch. First tiny ghost. A thousand dollars. Woo! I got to steal then because I did a trade for this. <laughs> I sent her a pop and she sent, and, and I sent her this and then she customized it and sent it back. So, sorry, that was really loud. We won't say what pop it was though, because we're not. Nobody's supposed to know that she wanted that pop. I know. I don't even know why she wanted that pop. <laughs> so, you have an AP custom coming. Very nice. nice. Hey, Lady Enigma. No worries. Thank you for dropping in. <laughs> Tickets one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> A dollar deal. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just was like, ooh, that would be cool. Because she wanted a pop, and I, and she's like, would you trade it for a custom? I was like, ooh. And then she said what custom or that she already had. I was like, no, not those. <laughs> and then I was like, I have a three-inch OG tiny ghost. Yeah. yeah. So. And then she said, I don't have enough black glitter. I need to get black glitter. <laughs> <laughs> so she got black glitter. Did you miss anything exciting? You mm -hmm. missed a... A horror? Horror slash not horror, but more Halloween. Kahoot. Kahoot. That Anne Marie won. Pop and Duo won our comment picker. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Not yet, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> I 
We got a whole bunch of new minis in. Yes. We haven't opened for us. We haven't opened them yet. Well, they're for me. Let's not lie. So I finally found the set that I'd been looking for that they only had in like freaking Japan. They're finally back in stock at Mind's Eye. So. Or at least they were. They back were. In stock I think they're Mind's still Eye. at Mind's Eye. <laughs> I'll show the box. I'm not opening them though yet. So that all of you can go get them because they're super cute. You broke down and got an additional can bot case. Who's that? Jay. We got three. You guys heard of Avo and Friends? If not, you will soon. <laughs> they're all avocado y shaped guys. All well, mostly. Avo and Friends. So an apple, an onion, and a banana. But I think they're very yes. cute. They're Kevin, minis. Kevin Jones, we are doing mystery mini box or mini mystery. Yeah. Mystery mini mystery box. Yes. <laughs> we have a deal going from last Tuesday to next Tuesday. Yes. So if you buy one, you get entered in a giveaway. Um, the furry bones is already going to be given away. Mm -hmm. If we hit 20 five 26 then it's a perfect cell pop and tea and if we do 50 which we probably won't there's an eight inch dunny so and then in october we'll be doing halloween ones indeed so you want an avocado we love avocados they're delicious uh the ones right now right now it's pick your price mcdorks so the mystery mini boxes we're doing, you pick your own price. The lowest we can go is $12 plus shipping, actual shipping. Um, and you say, here's the dollar amount I want to spend on the box. I And here's the stuff I like and don't like. I put a box together. I weigh it. I get the shipping. I tell you exactly how much shipping is. And there you go. Um, and usually we're guaranteeing 125% of the value you spent. So if you spent $40 getting the box, we would at least give you back $50 in value. So if you spent $100, we would give you $125 in value. Yes. Hall if you spent... Right. <laughs> Halloween is going to be a little different. So Halloween is not a pick your price. Halloween is going to be a set price. I don't exactly know what it is yet, but there will be two levels of pricing for the Halloween ones. One with everything I have, which will be whatever dollar amount. And then one, which will be um, a lower value with less of the items. They provide a great variety. Yes, yes math. Math, math factors into all of this. We have <laughs> spreadsheets. We do all that, too. So We have spread shirt, too. No, no, no we don't have that. <laughs> so it's We want people to feel like they're getting back a mm -hmm. decent amount of stuff. Um, and most of the prices that we have, like list, cause you'll get a value sheet with all of them. Most you, if you went and Googled it, you'd find the similar price on the website for the company. So we're not the only ones that I had to go like a dollar above or so were the things that the retail was six. I got it for six, for example, and I had to pay tax and shipping. So I have to charge a little more for those. Um, but most things, if you go on Kid Robot and it costs $9.95, I'm saying it's worth $9.95. So, yeah. Not impressed with this Cons Funko lineup. We like a lot of things. We like at least eight or nine things. Overall, yeah. Have they given a date, though, Jay? The sold out thing has been there forever since yeah. they loaded the site. So that's what I was wondering. I don't know. I don't think many stores are actually going to get it. Too. Night, Richard. Thanks for coming and hanging out. And Ivy Poppin, true story. Funny, I just watched a Mama J and Spectre video today that they put out last week, I think it was. And Spectre got the like question mark out of question mark domo. And then Tim from some, is it some type of, or Tim's collectibles. Yeah. He got the question mark out of question mark Mectorian the other day. 
So it's one of those like, sure, if you spend 25 bucks or 50 bucks on a box, cool. But like, I know that Mictorian retail, like on eBay is going for 50 to a hundred. Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of crazy what you can get. I mean, I can't obviously guarantee what you're going to get. You could get all one and sixes. I, I can't do anything about that. Well, so. shoot, we know people have pulled a Googiemon out of the yeah, uh, Jankies. which we didn't even have at the time. <laughs> that was fun to watch. No, just kidding. But we had one in trade, so yes. it worked out. So I don't think I've seen in general which stores will be carrying what yet. The only one or the only thing I think we know about right now is the soda. You can usually guess though. Like the Harry right. Potters are usually Barnes and Noble and or Hot Topic, just depending. Right. Um, most Marvel-y stuff is Hot Topic. Is Hot Topic. Up is always Box Lunch. Um, sure. GameStop will probably have that street thing. The Miles Morales. The, yeah, Miles Morales. Stitch will probably be Hot Topic. It's usually always Hot Topic. Could be FYE though. Oh yeah, it could be FYE. I don't know. Stitch is FYE. That's what she said. The Fortnite is probably Walmart. It'll either be Walmart or GameStop. Yeah. But uh YouTube piece is gonna be just as awful as it was last time. Let's be real. Oh yeah. It's not gonna be any better than SDCC. We'll all wait for an hour to get two items. That's probably what's going to happen. It is it is just what it is. It's Then it becomes just fighting to jump on the regular sites to get the shared stickers. And with Funko Shop as it is right now, they're not actually even sending the con stickers most of the time. So I know we got no con stickers from SDCC. Right. Uh, we ended up getting someone uh, sent us one from the Funko Hollywood of the Harry Potter pop. But all the rest of them, we got all shared. So, Stitch should be box lunch. Huh? Maybe. Could be. Jiminy was Amazon. The two Star Wars were Amazon, or three Star Wars, I think, were Amazons. One of them. I don't know. So. Hey, JJ Funko. So. Uh. It's all good. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't believe Habib's Pop Emporium has sold nearly enough Funko products <laughs> to get an exclusive. Yeah. However, I'm sure that they may make some sort of an exclusive. I, I don't know. Yeah, we've got a really good customizer named Halim. And uh, Halim does the best customs in the world. Besides Alexandra, of course. But, you know. <laughs> Understandable, Mr. GJ Funko. Yes. <laughs> exactly but that cad bane is going up so right. that's a good one to have lab jar they might be i don't know i know they've been trying to sell everything for cheap but i wouldn't be surprised they always get the like they always get harry potter except for madam maxine that went to hot topic but nine times out of ten if there's a con stickered harry potter pop it goes to barnes and noble so, I don't know. No worries, JJ. I'll go. So, we'll find out once they, they'll do, this pops and whoever else will do the little map yes. of uh, where everything will be dropping. And then we all know which websites will crash and, you know, you can't get through anyway. So, at least most states, places are reopened. So, you can actually go line up again. So. That is true. Yeah. Yeah, like lining up at Hot Topic and people cutting. Hmm. That was a fun <laughs> post from the other day. Got a lot of reactions on that one. So I'm sure a lot of you saw that on Instagram. I mean, I think a lot of people would be completely shocked that I called someone a name. But, you know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, you can't get out of the Harry Potter lady anymore. It's just not a thing. It's not a real thing. Always got to stay with Harry Potter. So. Oy. I think we're still waiting because I think they said it's going to happen, but I think we're still waiting on a couple of 
official reveals for Masters of the Universe. Yeah. And anime stuff. So Well they haven't done they only did the one ad icon. They usually do more than one. Uh I thought there was a couple ad icons. I thought it was just the dum dum guy. No. Oh, is he an ad icon? He's an ad icon too. Oh, never mind then. Captain Maybe a soda. Because I thought they were supposed to do the soda. Wasn't there supposed to be like a she soda and then there was supposed to be um, I believe so. Yeah. I don't know. Chap, you're a dick. I think he was probably something <laughs> a little more creative than There's that. There's no filth there. Just... <laughs> oh, sorry, buddy. He threw ethyl fur on your nose. Sorry. Uh, Johnny Sheet has been a little bit since the pop around the world has been released. Yeah. I'm sure it's common. Yeah. I don't know. We're not collecting those. No. Yes, exactly. The fish sandwich stealer. Mm. I don't know why he would be stealing it, but... Ugh, nobody eats those. Well, maybe some <laughs> of you eat those, but there's no way in hell I would ever eat a fish sandwich from McDonald's. Sounds like... With all the tartar sauce just dripping off the <laughs> sides of it and, like, limp lettuce. Oh, how amazing does that sound? Or not. <laughs> I don't know if it's real fish. I mean, it, are the nuggets real chicken? No. But caught fresh daily. <laughs> fresh daily. Caught it where? In the freezer? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yes, so there are gross. fish caught fresh daily, just not in McDonald's. <laughs> hey, Christina. <laughs> yeah, I ordered a chicken sandwich. I don't remember what it was called from some chicken deluxe chicken sandwich or something from McDonald's the other day. And it was the saddest looking chicken sandwich I've ever seen. Like the lettuce was all wilty and gross and the bun was burnt. I was going to say, is that the one they burned? The yeah, the bun on? was burnt. I was like, I should have gone to Wendy's, but oh well. That's because they're still using the same fish guinea pig. <laughs> I'm just hawking it off like a big log of fish. Yep. A travy pet? I've never heard of that. It's oh, all it's the, oh, that new the Travis Scott. No, meal. I have. I saw it on the menu and I was like, who are you? I don't know who you are. So it He's was got like that antidote. It was like a burger with bacon, fries, and barbecue sauce in the sprite. Yeah. That's what it was. So scraps off the floor. <laughs> Quite true. When I was in Australia, though, and we went to a McDonald's just to see what the difference of the menu is, they put beets on everything. Like, I thought that was really weird. At least that's what I remember. This was, like, close to 20 years ago. But, yeah, I was like, why would you put beets on a hamburger? I know you guys aren't in Australia, but still. <laughs> Uh oh, Wolf King pre ordered two of the monthly sodas. I'm assuming, oh. hoping for the common and the chase. <laughs> Nightshade, I don't know. I've never ordered <laughs> from normal is bacon. Oh, okay. Yeah, beets I thought was weird. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody knows Travis Scott. Except don't me. Don't you open up that window? You might let up the energy or whatever it is. I don't know. You get lots of ho pineapple in Hawaii. That kind of makes sense. I mean, I like pineapple. I like frozen pineapple. I like frozen fruit in general. Beer definitely makes McDonald's taste better. Um, or come out <laughs> quicker. You're a sucker for pineapple. Limit was set. Who'd you buy it from, Wolf King? Mm. Or where'd you buy it, I guess I should say. Steven practicing like all his greetings from different areas right now? I think so. <laughs> Burger King Whaler? Is that a thing? What? A Burger King Whaler? Probably. I've never heard of that. We've got McRice. Interesting. <laughs> Entertainment Earth had them. Ah. <laughs> it does, Ness. <laughs> It was. I'm old. I had never heard of that one. 
I don't know. I wouldn't have eaten either. So <laughs> it's okay, lab draw. I didn't know who Travis Scott was either. So don't feel bad. It's okay. I'm the older one here between <laughs> us. So that's why this youngin knows about him. Yes. Burger King shutting. Ah. I like the Impossible Whoppers. I know they're not actually good for you, but for some reason I like them. I don't know why. I don't like their regular burgers. And I actually didn't. They put too much sauce on the other thing the other day. But in general, I usually like the Impossible Whoppers. I like their onion rings. Those are good. There you go. Grump. Lab jar remembers the BK Whaler. Whatever that is. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind the the bacon king. I mean, it's just a yeah. baconator, but yeah. We don't eat it often, though, Ness. The McDLT. What's the D for? <laughs> Did I just walk into that? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, chap! I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Uh, you're not missing anything if you don't know who Travis Scott is. Oh, chili dogs. No. <laughs> I couldn't. There's no way. Oh my it God. already runs straight through you and gives you <laughs> diarrhea anyway. The last thing you need is a chili dog from there. <laughs> it looks the same going in as it does going out. I guess guinea pig glory remembers the McDLT, whatever that means. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Night, Christina. Night. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. <laughs> I still want to know what that letter stands for. <laughs> the double lettuce and tomato. <laughs> sure. I don't know. Dingo lettuce and tomato? <laughs> We're not in another country. There's no dingoes around here. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, you remember the commercial? Grump's like singing it out loud to himself right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you looking it up? <laughs> No one's telling me what it is. It was a McDonald's deluxe burger. Ow, Ethel. McDLT was a cheeseburger that was served at Mike McDonald's in a styrofoam container that split between the meat and the vegetables and sauce. So it's just a burger. Yep. <laughs> so the tomato and lettuce... We're in a separate thing so that you can keep. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Interesting. It was a huge styrofoam package. Interesting. Kept the hot on one side, the cold on the other. Yeah. Oh. Spicy McNuggets. Had double the styrofoam. <laughs> yeah, it's just a burger. I do remember back in the 80s, like, getting the kids... Like the Happy Meals and stuff. The Happy though. Meals. Like I remember the gar. You could get like cups as your prize or. Oh yeah. Like, like Garfield cups and I all that kind of stuff. Used to. I may still have it somewhere around. I don't remember. I think my mom still has mine. Don't we have that old Batman Forever yeah. mug somewhere around here? Yeah. <laughs> exactly, YouTube piece. Hi, come on. You can jump up. Come on. Yes. Hi, everyone. I'm Evers. I am a happy Why dog. was the McDLT discontinued? I'm pretty sure because people kept getting the D mixed up. Oh. <laughs> well, that are all the complainers about styrofoam. What? Back in what? the 80s? Ow. Now. Stuck around for six years between 84 and 90. I don't think people were complaining about the styrofoam no. in the 90s. You have the Batman cups, too.
Yeah, I remember in the late 90s, they redid a bunch of glasses at McDonald's, like Shrek and a bunch mm -hmm. of those other ones. And I bought them all. But then it turned out that there was like lead poisoning happening from them. So they said to like return them or dispose of them. Yep. So. Looney Tune Uh, Yes. I think I have a Marvin the Martian one. I think you do. Yeah, the Shrek one supposedly had lead poisoning going on with I don't know what part. <laughs> so. I remember, I remember after college throwing them away, or during college, I think throwing them away. So late nineties, early two thousands. So we've been on for almost two hours. Yeah. Are you not entertained? I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know who had Lord of the Rings cups. I bet you Brian would know that. I think it was Burger King. I don't know. But I'm not positive. All right. Oh, buddy. Well, we've been on for about two hours. So we will probably go ahead and call it an evening. Thank you for coming and hanging out with us. All yes, of you that yes. came and hang, hung out. It was uh, yeah, another live. Mm -hmm. <laughs> MPT, no. <laughs> <laughs> and MPT forgot to do the giveaway. So, oh well. Yeah. <laughs> he was too hot and too tired. Yes. Um, so Anne-Marie won the Kahoot tonight. Yes. I have it written down and I need to send her a picture of what she can pick from. So thank you, LJ. So, you were delirious. <laughs> so don't forget upcoming lives. Uh, I believe uh, Andrew, a.k.a. the Luau, and Sean have their live tomorrow yep. evening. Don't know horror if there's anything was the on topic. Friday, Saturday. I think we, there will still be a booze and pops. However, it may be special guest night. Yes, Stephen said he'll say two words. Exactly. That's what he told me. It'll probably be hello and goodbye. Right. <laughs> I told him. I sent him the screenshot of my ancestry today. Oh yeah, mine got updated as well. What are you? Apparently, I'm 32% Scottish. <laughs> Everyone's Scottish now. Maybe they're like over selecting on ancestry. If it's not Scottish, it's crap. <laughs> I'm supposedly 48% Scottish. Hmm. Yeah, no, I got the updated thing too. So, And the rest of it is like Wales and Ireland. So I'm like, okay, so it's all the same thing, right? I mean, no, it is not the same thing. It's very similar. <laughs> Stephen will let me know if it was decent for a moment. <laughs> uh, here we go. Accents, but it's not the same. Okay, it's not the same. Sorry. <laughs> Where does it go? I sent it to Stephen because oh. I was like, look. There we go. 37% Scotland. I'm 48 Scotland. So. And then I have 23% England and Northwestern Europe, 19% Wales, and 10% Ireland. Just need to get rid of the English part. So. So which is the English part? England and Northwestern Europe. Oh, my 23%? I, I'm only 16% there, so. Irish and Scots are the same. See? What's Wales? Is that England too? It's part, it's in that area, yes. It's where the Welsh are from. Oh. So I'm more than 50% if you add it together, Scottish and Irish. <laughs> the Welsh hate the English too, but not to the same degree. <laughs> so Scientology is tracking people. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm sure there's a lot of people tracking people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't say that you'll make him mad <laughs> <laughs> yeah so like if anyone's done ancestry like they just updated i guess everything today and resent out like everyone's percentages i guess so that's why i don't think mine any was anything like that before mine was very similar before i so. don't know 
I remember when we first got it back, they had like this 1% error rate basically. And it said like my 1% was Africa and his 1% was Asia. And I'm like, mm. <laughs> I don't know about all that. <laughs> so those, those 1% have now evolved into Irish and Scottish, I assume. So. But for me, I do know that that's true based on the family tree that I do know about. Oh. So. Yeah. I, I don't know. Anyway, we've just gone over the just over the two hour yes. mark, and um, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So anyway, we were finishing up, and now we will officially finish up. Thank you for coming, hanging out. Yep. We will see you guys next week. Next week it will be a little different. Yes, next week Wednesday, and if anyone has these, you can join us. But um, we are going to be doing uh, bands for arms mystery box number three or something blind box blind number three. three um and we're gonna have totally mitch and collectibles 83 pop talk and then we'll have three more spots if anyone wants to join us mm -hmm. um so yeah i don't know if anyone has those boxes but you're welcome to message and let us know yep so but that will be next wednesday yep so all right cool see you all later Later.